Hi, everybody. Welcome back from uh, Thanksgiving. Um, this is the second of two videos I want you guys to watch. The first video talks about the triangle sum theorem, and the triangle sum theorem says that all the angles of a, any triangle add up to 180 degrees. Um, let's review a couple things real quick. A postulate is a statement that we have to accept it without any proof. A theorem is a statement that can actually be proven using postulates, definitions, properties, and a few other things. A corollary directly follows a theorem. So these two corollaries I'm showing you right now are statements that are actually just another theorem that logically follows another theorem. So these are two uh, corollaries that follow the triangle sum theorem that all the angles would triangle it up to 180. So uh, take a look at corollary 4-2-2. It says the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Well, if you have one angle of a triangle that adds up to 90 degrees, don't the other two angles have to add up to 90 degrees to get 180? Think about that for a second, and hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, some corollaries are pretty straightforward. I consider this one relatively straightforward, and once you read it a few times, I think you will as well. And others are a little bit more complicated. This next one, 4-2-3, is about the same level of difficulty, difficulty as the first one. It says, the measure of each angle of an equiangular triangle is 60 degrees. Remember, equiangular means that all the angles uh, are the same. Well, here's why it directly follows the triangle sum theorem. They all have to add up to 180. It's equiangular, means, which means they're all the same. So 180 divided by 3 is equal to 60 degrees. I anticipate a lot of my students probably could have figured this one out without an official corollary. Okay, and so anyway, that's what I mean by they logically or they directly follow uh, another theorem. Not all theorems will have corollaries, but some will. So just think of the corollary as being a, a statement that follows another one. It's another theorem, and you could actually prove that it's true. Thanks for listening.